Hello and welcome to this grunt tutorial where I'm going to be showing you the default task. So let's get started. Um, in the previous tutorials we came up with all this uh, syntax for our particular grunt file.js and um, from here on out we are going to use a default task. Um, just as, as an example, you can remove it if you like. Um, it's not mandatory. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and add a default task in here. Very simple, um, we can define which default task we want to use. In this case, I'm going to use Uglify because we previously used it in the uh, last tutorial. Um, let's have a look what I've got in my uh, inputs. Let's remove this just so we can have a, a fresh look at what we're doing. Go into grunt file, do grunt.register task default. Then we want to do Uglify. And I'll just clear this. I'll do change directory to my current grunt folder. Then if I just run um, grunt, it's giving me an error. Register task. Because do, 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 I see why. Warning task not found. Um, Let's have a look. Default, uglify, uglify up here, options. Um, try this again. Register. Silly me, that says track, trask. Why did it give me that recommendation? Strange. Um, anyways, it should work now. There we are. Three files created because. Um, We've asked, um, well, not created, they've just been modified basically. Um, we've asked um, our target files to be everything with JS, and that's not good. So let's quickly change that to we want everything to go into main.js. Then we're going to have an array of inputs. Let's do input two, um, JS. Input two to JS, input three even. Um, and I'm also gonna let me just quickly run this and show you as an example. Oh, that's done with our errors. There we are. That's run by default. But what I want to do here is let me put in, let me save this input.js. I'm going to show you an example using um, a quick version of jQuery. So save jQuery, and then it has a bunch of comments. As you can see. Let me go ahead and just merge all these. Um, JS um, input JS. There we are. Um, some people have been asking me how to save the comments. So um, to save the comments in any of these particular files, and another jQuery file has a lot of comments. So um, we can do, we can put it in the options as to preserve comments. You can um, specify which comments you want to uh, save. But for now, let's just save all comments. Let's check that. And there we go, that's a mini file, JS file with all our um, JavaScript. Um, as you can see, it saved the, uh, well, the main one, which was jQuery, uh, the jQuery library. And what it's actually done, saved all the comments and uh, minified as much as possible. So then um, we're down to, yeah. Um, personally, I just take the comments out because at the end of the day, um, we're going to have our main file in here, and we can read the comments in here, and we don't really want to publish our um, comments. Um, so yeah, I tend to leave them out. But yeah, that's kind of it for um, the default task. It's very simple. You can use it on any, you know, um, plugin. So we could change this to CSMin, and that would run CSMin. Um, let's 
quickly have a look. There we are, it's giving us our CSS main. So yeah, that's it for the default task. If you have any questions, leave them below. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next video.